Hi, I'm Andrew. So last week I uploaded this video and it's about how you can turn an air tag into a card size tracker which you can put it in your wallet. If you haven't watched that video yet, go watch it now because this is a follow up on that video. I got a lot of feedback from the last video and first of all, I want to thank you for all the comments and encouragement. I'm just starting out YouTube so your support is really appreciated and it means a lot to me. Second, I want to improve on the project. So in this video, I'm going to look into the two biggest problems from the last video. The speaker and the battery. Let's get started. So let's revisit this. Oof, that's rough. All right, here it is. So the first thing I want to try is to secure the coil onto a thin piece of plastic and to see if the volume gets louder. Hopefully it will go back to the original volume. So yeah, so let's give that a try. So here's a piece of plastic. I got this from a local craft shop. So I'm not sure where you can find something like this in your local area, but I'm hoping I can glue the coil on here and then hopefully this will help it resonate. So right now what I'm trying to do is to try to attach the, uh, this coil to this thin piece of plastic. Hopefully that can uh, try to amplify the sound. Uh, at the end, what I'll, I'll do is I'll use CA glue to glue the coil onto this so that there's a more secure connection. But for the time being, I'm just going to use double-sided tape. I'm gonna press, press on the, press on the coil a bit to get it to stick. Hmm. Not sure how secure that is. And here is the magnet. Okay, I'm gonna press on it. Okay, so let's try that. Instead of using the coin cell battery. I'm going to use a power supply, which I'm going to set it at 3 volts, which is the voltage required for the coin cell battery. So let's try this out. Hmm. The volume is still really low. Maybe what happens is I also need to secure the, the magnet. So what I will do is I will try to press on, press on the magnet. Okay, I just powered it on and the volume is still pretty low. Hmm. I'm not sure if you guys you guys can hear, but the volume is still pretty low. So that didn't really work. So let's take the magnet back out. All right. So off camera, I tried it with uh, several different materials. I tried it with the um, the plastic, uh, transparent plastic that I was talking about before. Um, I tried it with some sort of ruler so these are the hard some sort of hard plastic uh what i also what i did is i also experimented with the original shell so as as, as soon as i stick it back on the shell um the sound is actually a lot louder so i think it has to do with the material that um, apple uses which apple engineering is amazing so what i did is I cut a piece out to and stick it on to the coil to see if that helped with the volume. That did not work. And uh, at the end, what I found is this piece of plastic, um, which came from a screw pack from Home Depot. So I just cut a long strip out here and it seemed to provide the best results. So if you guys take a listen, here is the original air tag and here's the modified one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play a sound on the original one as well as the modified one. And you guys can compare uh, the volume between those two. And I will put the mic right here. So first, let's play the original one. And here is the modified one. Okay. 
as you can hear the original one is much much louder um, this is mainly due to the fact that Apple really engineered the shell into a very um, I guess acoustically amplifying shell well I'm not sure what I'm, I'm talking about I'm not an expert in acoustics but uh, they definitely did a great job in making the shell act like a tweeter Although the modified AirTag is not as loud as the original AirTag, I think it is acceptable for my case. So I will proceed to the next step. For the battery, I got a lot of comments from the last video. Some people suggested to use another model of the coin cell battery, the CR2016 to be specific. The CR2016 is basically the same coin cell battery as the original one, but with half the thickness. And I guess that means half the power capacity. Another comment suggested I can put two of the thinner batteries in parallel so that I get the same power capacity but in a thinner profile. So what I think is, the original CR2032 is already around the same height or thickness as the electronics. So I won't gain much by using the thinner batteries. But what I can do is, put two of the CR2032 in parallel. So that should give me double the battery life. The battery life rating from Apple for one cell is around one year of battery life. So I guess if I put two cells in parallel, maybe I'll get two years of battery life. Maybe by that time, AirTag 2 has already come out. So let's give that a try. So here it is. I 3D printed a new case for it. And this time, as you can see, there are two slots for the battery. And um, I've also added these grooves so that the top will route the positive and this would lead to the another battery cell and the bottom there are also these grooves where I route, I route the ground wire. So let me get this hooked up. So here it is. The wires are hooked up. These are not the most beautiful soldering work, but um, this will do for what I wanted to do. So the red wire is the positive, and here is connected to the first cell, and then here is the connection between the first cell and the second cell. And for ground, it's connected pretty similar. So here is the ground connected to here, the first cell, and then it connects to the second cell. So let's try to power it up. The reason why I, I got new batteries is that when you put batteries in parallel, it is ideal that you get the exact same battery and ideally in the exact same charge state. So that's why I got brand new batteries. Let's try to connect them. Alright, finally found it. Okay. Alright, it's set up. So let's test it out. I can see it. Let's play sound. Okay. Sounds not bad. I'm quite satisfied. And now it should have double the battery life. Okay, so it's time to put on some duct tape. The reason I use duct tape is because it is a thin material as well as because it is relatively strong. That's why I use duct tape. Okay, let's do a final sound check on both of these air tags. So let me put the mic down. Here is a reference of how far the air tag is. Let's first start off with the original air tag. And now the modified air tag. I'm not sure how the mic picks it up, but from what I hear in real life, 
the original AirTag definitely sounds louder. And I would say the modified one is around 70 to 80 percent of the volume of the original one. So here is version 2 of my take on making the Apple AirTag into a card size so that you can fit into your wallet. I'm pretty happy with the results because I can now actually hear the speakers outside of my wallet as well as I have two CR2032 powering the AirTag which should give me maybe not up to two years but definitely more than a year battery life. I will upload the 3D printed files to Thingiverse and I will put the link in the description. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to put it in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving me a like. Or if you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing. I'm just starting out YouTube and this would really help me a lot. That's it for this video. Bye.